My name is Lisa Bruno, and I'm the School Programming Coordinator here at Historic Huguenot Street. Last week, we began a new series of craft videos together, in which we learned how to make our very own tricorn hats in order to honor American Revolution veteran Jacob Hasbrook Jr. Today, we'll be learning how to make corn husk dolls. To make my doll, I'll be using Historical Folk Toys Traditional Corn Husk Doll Kit. This kit includes a bundle of dried corn husks, string, and a pamphlet about the history and creation of corn husk dolls. Corn was a very important crop for many Native American groups, not just as a source of food, but as a crafting material. The strong outer husks of corn could be braided, woven, and folded together to create various items, such as baskets, mats, moccasins, and even dolls. Making a doll out of corn husks is very simple. Just follow the demonstration and you'll have your own doll in no time. Let's get started. To get started, you're going to take your bundle of corn husks from the package and, just like you see here, submerge them in a bowl full of warm water. You might have to keep your hand in the water to keep the corn husks submerged or stick something on top of them to weigh them down, whichever you prefer. The reason that we're going to put the corn husks in the water like this is to get them nice and soft and nice and pliable. If you try to use the corn husks as is, you'll notice that they're very dry and they'll be very hard to work with and will probably rip when you're trying to make your doll. The only other items that you'll need for this craft other than your husks and your bowl of water are going to be the string, which is included in the husks. Before you put your husks in the water, make sure to unfold them because the string will actually be sitting inside, and a pair of scissors. In order for your husks to be soft enough to work with, you're going to want to let them soak for about 10 minutes. During those 10 minutes, you can take your scissors and your string and cut some pieces so that you have them ready to work with and you don't have to switch between folding and cutting later on during the craft. And as you can see, I had a bunch of pieces there that I already cut and a bunch of string left over. So I would recommend cutting yourself longer pieces than you need so that you have enough to work with. And you can always go ahead and trim them later so that you don't have long strings hanging off of your doll. Now that our husks have had time to soak, they should be pliable enough to work with. The first thing that you're going to do when your husks are ready to work with is to sort out which husks are going to be the body of your doll and which husks are going to be the arms. You're going to want the body of your doll to consist of the bigger husks and the arms to consist of the smaller ones. Let's sort through these. Okay, so these husks in this hand here I'm going to use for the body. As you can see, they're a little bit taller than the ones in this hand, which I'm going to use for the arms. So I'm going to go ahead and set my husks that I'm using for the arms back in the water. And I'm going to take my body husks and line them all up on top of each other. Just like that. And fold them over long ways. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and fold them underneath so that I've got a nice pocket right there. Now I'm going to take one of my pieces of string that I already cut and I'm going to start to wrap it around my husks that I just folded over just about leaving an inch on the top because that's going to be our head and oops as you can see it's a little bit difficult so you might want someone to help you to either hold the doll while you tie it or tie it for you while you hold the doll i'm going to attempt to tie this myself and when you're tying it you want to pull it really tight because you can see when i just pulled it really tight it brought the corn husks together and created almost what looks like a neck for our corn husk doll. So you can see that it's not all the same shape anymore. You almost have the shape of a head here on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead, wrap that around one more time before I tie it in a knot to really reinforce it. I'm gonna double knot it too. And my corn husk doll now has its head. So. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to create the arms. So I'm just going to set my doll there back in the water and take the husks that I'll be using as the arms. And just like we did before, 
We're gonna stack these all on top of each other. And instead of folding these, we're actually going to roll them. So you're just gonna long ways, start to roll it, try to get it as tight as you can. And actually, I'm not gonna use all of these husks because when you have them all stacked on top of each other like that and try to roll them, they get a little bit thick and it's gonna be harder to keep them inside the doll. So I'm only gonna use one husk for the arms. All right, so again, just however many of those extra husks that you have that you wanna use, you can go ahead and roll together to be the arms. I used one. I'm going to now take my husk that I rolled and through the fold that I created before, I'm going to open that up and stick the arms in between. You wanna try and get that as close to the necktie that you made before. And now that you have your arms, you're gonna take another piece of string and you're gonna tie underneath the arms. This is going to create a waist for your doll and also help to keep your doll's arms in place. So again, you might need someone to help you hold your doll or tie the knot for you. I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap that around a couple times and tie it in a knot to secure it. All right, so the last thing that I'm going to do now is just to trim the arm down, the arms down a little bit. Your kit might have some husks that are a little bit longer, so you might wind up with a taller doll than I have, but my husks weren't terribly long, so I do have a little bit of a shorter doll. So we're just gonna snip the arms here to make them a little bit more proportionate to the doll's body. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and tie some wrists for your doll. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut one of my pieces of string in half because I don't need that much string for this. And whoops. Again, as mentioned before, it's definitely gonna be a little bit easier if you have someone to help you to hold the doll or make the ties for you. Doing it yourself is a little bit tricky. Okay, so that took me quite a few tries, but you're gonna go ahead and tie off little wrists for your doll so that it has little hands. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side now. All right, so now you have your very own corn husk doll. Traditionally, corn husk dolls would not have faces. However, you can go ahead and if you like, draw a face on your corn husk doll, decorate it however you'd like. The last thing that I'm going to do is just trim my extra strings here so that it doesn't have any little ones hanging off. And you're done. You've made your very own corn husk doll. Thank you for tuning in this morning and learning how to make a corn husk doll with me. If you'd like to make your very own corn husk doll, you can purchase a historical folk toys corn husk doll kit from our museum shop. From today until May 24th, the kits will be 10% off in our online shop, bringing the cost from $9 to $8.10 before taxes and shipping. If you live locally, you can arrange to pick up your kit and have it shipped. Thank you again for your interest in Historic Huguenot Street. I hope to see you again next Monday at 10 a.m. for another craft demonstration.